Yeah, even the wicked for the day of evil. A lot, of, a lot of people in this world say, oh, oh, well, God can't do evil. God is all love. Right. That's not so, man. But rather, the Heavenly Father has made all things for himself. Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah. Even the wicked. All the pedophiles you see, all the murderers you see, all the Satanists you see. Yeah, the Heavenly Father created them. It also tells you in the book of Revelation, I want to say chapter 5, how the elder angels in the heavens, they took off their crowns and cast it before Yahweh and said, Worthy is he uh, who has created all things for his pleasure. So for what reason did the most sides, you see, it also goes into that in Psalm 71, or mm -hmm. Psalm 63, you know, uh, Asaph said, you know, when I saw the posterity of the wicked, right. it was too much for me until right. I understood their end. Right, right, right. Because God. for what reason did the Mosai craft a, a pedophile into existence? For what reason did the Heavenly Father have a Satanist manifest on this earth, man? Romans, the, the ninth chapter. So that he could show his might in casting them down. You know? That's yes, right. Hey, 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 how was I said back then in ancient Rome, if this was my kingdom, my servants would fight, but my kingdom is not now. Because it wasn't the time back then, man. Because if the Mosai took down the Romans back then, that wouldn't have been no different as when he took down the Egyptians, because it was somewhat the same technology, man. Mm -hmm. Sword, shield, right, right, right. But look, the most I, the most I let, let the wicked get air, the airplanes and lasers and fire right, right. and nuclear right. missiles, man. Nuclear. Esau took this shit to the subatomic level on you, man. Nuclear fission. Esau went down to that level, and the most I did that to show you, man. Look, if I'm not with you, don't none of that shit matter. It don't matter what you do. You can make a hypersonic missile. You can understand psychology. Right. You can understand aerial physics. If I'm not with you, you're going to fucking lose, man. Right. You're going to die to death. So that's why the Heavenly Father has manifested uh, uh, Romans 9, the vessels of wrath. That's why them, these fucking Edomites exist. And as Israel, as a vessel of mercy, you're supposed to see that and understand and say, hey, you know, ate the water for the portion. Hey, this is a humbling experience, man. I'm an Israelite. Oh, shit. I'm not a black fucking monkey. Right. Crazy. I'm actually an Israelite. I'm a right. vessel of mercy. Right. And then you find that our forefathers got put into this predicament in this land because they didn't understand that or respect that all the way back then in the land. That's right. Jeremiah 17, man, you, you just destroyed my heritage, haven't you? Right. You right. don't care about my heritage. Well, look, I'm going to make you a nigger instead. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have you black. I'm going to have the white man have you laughing, laughing barrels. Hey, hey, uh, hey, my great, great grandpa. Uh, my grandma told me this story, you know, back then it wasn't actual roads, it was gravel roads. Mm -hmm. And what the law was back then was that if a white man is walking in front, you got to cross the street. Yeah. And so this Edomite had crossed the street to get in front of my great-great-grandpa, and he was like, get out of my way, nigger. Yeah, my great-grandpa just stole the shit out that Edomite, man. Right. And he had to run away because the town was trying to lynch him. Yeah. And my old family thought he was dead until like, uh, what, 10 years before, uh, no, I think like two or three years before he died or something like that. Mm -hmm. Man, so look, you eat them like you got hell to pay, man. That's right. All that happened so that we can understand that we're at best was a mercy, okay? And that's something that you have to consider because you have to ask yourself who, what, when, where, why. Why am I on this earth going through all this stuff, man? Right. And the answers are only found in the scriptures. That's right. What book has sayings such as these and prophecies that bro, everything makes sense and it's happening literally in front of us? Well, that's a lot. No, 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 hey, hey, it's the spirit, brother. You know, hey, hey, uh, real quick, back in Proverbs 16, verse 4, the Lord hath made, the Lord hath made all things for himself, you know? And so I was just going to say, uh, uh, as the scriptures say, uh, man's goings are of the Lord, therefore, how can a man uh, uh, even know his own way? And even for Esau, all the technology, all the bombs, all the, you know, the Lord hath created the smith. That, that, that blow up the coals in the fire, man. You know what I'm saying? The Lord has done all these things, so so you can't you can't compete, you know, with with, with the one that's giving you the power. You know, pursuing the Job nine and twenty four. The earth has been given into the hand of the wicked. Well, if, if you can give something, you can take it away. You know, and, and and that's where the pride of Esau dwells in. That's the reason why the, the wicked, as the scripture says here, Proverbs. 16 and 4, the Lord hath made all things for himself, yea, even the wicked, for the day of evil. Verse 5, everyone that is proud in heart is an abomination to the Lord. Everyone who is proud in heart is an abomination unto the heavenly Father, Yehovah. And pride is all you see in America. And he's different from the different foreigners. Actually, I, I, met, I used to go to college, and the foreign woman, you know, tell you, tell me, like, hey, you know, for an American, you're really well-minded like you know yeah. you're not stupid you right know? yeah yeah it's like you you're really... articulate yeah that's right true, yeah. right that was a big word look right at us, you know <laughs> look at us man Cunt. and uh hey it's, it's, a, it's a different spirit amongst us man that's right that's you know? right 
Oh, oh uh, so like real quick, we, we don't have that, that spirit of slumber on us. Yeah. You know, we, we've been quickened, you know, by, by the answers as the brother was going into. We, we're no longer, uh, 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 as the brother had talked about, with, uh, 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 King Asaph. It's King Asaph, right? I was just doing Asaph. Just Asaph. So like it, brother. Uh, but, but the point being here is uh, he understood that there is. He, he understood that all of this, all of this is lies, you know? And, 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 and when you know the truth, what does the scripture say? And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall what? Make you free. So, so that's what they're really uh, uh, seeing. They're, they're seeing the freedom from darkness, from pollution, being cleansed by these holy scriptures. You know? You got something real quick? I had a precept, though. It's going to be in Numbers 24, going into uh, the, the day of the Lord. Let me, let me finish this and you can grab that. It says, everyone that is proud in heart is an abomination to the Lord. Though hand joined in hand, he shall not be unpunished. Yeah, everyone who is proud in heart is an abomination unto the Lord. And even though your hand joined his hand, even though you so-called black people are talking about uh, uh, love everybody. Right. All right. You have this fucking all lives matter thing, which all lives don't matter. Even all Israelite lives don't matter. That's right. Hey, only the elect lives matter. Everybody else, there's a death angel smiling at you, mm -hmm. rubbing his hands like birdmen. Done, brother. Okay, and though we can join hand in hand, even though our people are joined hand with America, all right, it tells you revelation that the devil and his angels gonna get cast out. All you Israelites who join yourself to this system, who was that black woman in the in the Congress talking about? Oh yeah. I'm not a biologist, so I don't know what a woman is. You're a you're an angel for Satan, man. Right. Your 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 message is for Satan. You're you're a part of the anti messiah system. You're gonna be destroyed right along with that nigga. And that's why it's a blessing for the elect because we've been given the spirit of repentance, man. We're not in this world trying to establish our own righteousness or or, or, or we're not living in this world getting caught up by the things that we see and saying, you know what, let me compromise and join the join the fucking heathens and become Hellenized. Right. Yeah. But rather we taking a stand and returning to the God of hosts, man, the God of heaven and earth. You see, and that repentance that's been opened up unto us, man. Oh yeah, hey, hey, even a certain you know, Eve loves that devil. And that's why this word life, if you can't care about Eve, man, let her go. I mean, right. That and the man got a purse. He, yeah, he had a purse around his shoulder, man. You know, that, that effeminization, you know, of the man. All of these things, are these, these philosophies that, that, that two-thirds are abided by now, you know, and, and, and the reason why the Lord is going to destroy it, man. You know? Damn. Come on, come on, come on. Back in Acts, chapter 5, verse 30. It says, oh, actually, I was at uh, 29. Let me hit 29 again. This is back in Acts, chapter 5, and I'm going to start at 28 and read down. It says, saying, did not we straightly command you that ye should not teach in this name. And behold, ye have filled Jerusalem with your doctrine and intend to bring this man's blood upon us. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, we ought to obey Yahweh rather than men. Yeah, we ought to obey the heavenly father, God of heaven and earth, Yahweh rather than men. And you damn right we feel Jerusalem with the, with the Lord's blood, bring his blood upon us. That's the only way for Yahweh's anger to pass over you. God, see, they didn't understand that Yahweh Shah was that lamb spoken of. You see, so yeah, we're bringing his blood upon Jerusalem. That's what you're supposed to do. Because we're obeying the Heavenly Father rather than men. Most I told us in Exodus 23, I send the angel before you to keep you on the way, uh, 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 obey his voice when he will not pardon your transgressions, and my name is in them. Now, the name Mayakala is not, is not in Yahweh. It's like, oh, the name Yahweh is not in my Yahweh, or, or a Uriel, or a, a war, but the name Yahweh is in the name Yahweh Shai. Right, right, right. You know, and Yahweh Shai is the one who had that power for the remission of sins. You see, so yeah, and we're, we're obeying the Heavenly Father and preaching about that angel, about that chief angel. Uh, and Joshua, he appeared and said that he was the captain of God's host. Verse 29, then... It says, Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey Yahweh rather than men. The power of our fathers raised up Yahweh Shah Mashiach 
whom ye slew and hanged on a tree. Him hath Yahweh exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. And that is very plain, man. You know, Yahweh so was given as a sacrifice for us for, uh, for, the, for the forgiveness of our sins, of Israel's sins. It wasn't for everybody. So you in Hebrews chapter 12, verse 16, that it's especially not for Esau. But then it tells you in Genesis 36 that Esau is Edom. Right. A lot of times in the Bible where it tells you, oh, uh, uh, Jacob, my servant. It's talking about Jacob and all of his children. And, and then sometimes it tells you, old Mount Seir. Now, that's just a place. But who lived at Mount Seir? The right. Edomites did. So like these fake Christians always say, you got to use the context. You know? And so the repentance was only given unto Israel. And going back to what that therapist dude that said, the therapist scientist dude that said, he said, you know, we found that you know you can actually bypass most therapy by just by just uh, by just uh, uh, living according to a good moral code and trying to walk in it. Hey, well, uh, in our culture, that's just called repentance, man. Right. In our culture, that's called returning back to the law, statutes, and commandments, and the spirit of the Lord, the heavenly Father, the house, and the name you was shot. You see, what people don't understand, what you so-called black people don't understand is that it's a privilege to be in Israelite. And that's why the Heavenly Father cast you out the land and called you a nigger in the first place. Because you didn't understand the privilege that that came with, man. You was in the land after the Lord vanquished our enemies before us, after the many wars of David. We finally had the Holy Land that the Most High promised way back with Abraham. We didn't get that until after the wars of David in its entirety. And then our people got in the land and said, you know what, now we're actually now we can serve all because hey, we're here now. And then the bad way happened to us now. The enemies understand that understand that we're them dudes. Right. Everybody afraid of us. Everybody knows about Angie. How was we get? He'll he'll just open the seat again. You know who cares? I was in the land worshiping Baal, the Molech, and that's why the Most High has you now in America working in dead end jobs. I I uh he has you reincarnate retarded. <laughs> right. Has come back retarded. Bitch. You know all the all these things are things of judgment. You know, it tells you in Isaiah 65, man. So we'll get into it, man. Or did you got to wrap it up? No, no. Uh, what time is it? Is it after 11? Okay. Like 11, 8. Get a couple more scriptures. Lord, Lord's will. Uh, I got a precept for you. This is uh, Jeremiah 49. And going, going into uh, Mount Seir, uh, verse 16. It says, Thy terribleness hath deceived thee, and the pride of thine heart, O thou that dwellest in the cliffs of the rock, that holdest the height of the hill, though thou shalt make thy nest as high as the eagle, I will bring thee down from this, thence, saith the Lord Yahweh. And Edomite's pride is literally still it, man. These Edomites call themselves the highest of all. Right. We're just the, the, the what they, what the niggas say, the, uh, the apex predator. Yeah. You know, oh, we're just so smart. We're so intelligent. The three, two, two skull and bones. Who see it us? Right. We're just so fucking great. Well, look, man, you and all your power, all your might, you got all these lasers. Hey, it's true. The saying of the bigger they are, the harder they fall, that's that's 100% true saying. Because you got all this stuff, and that's why I tell you in Isaiah 14, in the kingdom of heaven, everybody going to look at Esau, weak ass, right. and say, is this the man right. who made the earth to tremble? This this weak ass nigga, this dude made the earth to tremble? And in that day, the whole earth going to understand that you ain't do it by your own power. So you in Ezekiel. In Ezekiel 39, after it's finished and after it's done, speaking to the time of the Gentiles, all the nations are going to know that the only reason why Israel went into captivity was because of the sins of our fathers. It's not because you eat them much you fucking great. Eat them you just fucking act smart. And we'll prove to you that they're all sodomized, man. Oh, man. That's retarded. What are you doing playing in booty hole, man? You know, and then taking a step further, these politicians and these, these, all the Esau's top men, they're transsexuals. Niggas in dresses. Right. And it's a, it's a movie called Solo, or 120 Days of Sodom. And the, the, the director of that movie, the person who made that movie, after the movie was published, that dude got ran over by his own car a bunch of times, and then I believe he was shot in the head. Execution style. And in that movie, it shows you the presidents of these different nations kidnapping children, taking them to a private island, and telling them, man, look, the cops, we own the cops. The military, we right. own the military. Right. All right, and then, and then a part of the rules of the island was, if you mention God, we're going to kill you. And there was one girl in the movie, she had screamed out and said, God, please kill me. And then they put a gun to her head and said, you know what, since you had God to kill you, we're going to keep on raping you. And once again, keep in mind, all the people who go missing, 
all these so-called Mexican, so-called all right, these, these tribal missing car kids in, in the ICE detention camps sleeping on their foils, the kids go missing that night for some fucking reason. What do you think they had, man? Right. The person who, who the person who made that movie, after it came out, he got run over by his own car. Mm. I think they said like 15 times. Wow. And he got shot in the fucking head, man. Look at that movie, yeah. Solo 120 days in Sodom. And it also shows you all the presidents of the different countries. Mm -hmm. They came together in a dark room right. wearing a black ass suit. Right. They always in them all black right. suits. Right, right. And they signed they signed treaties in the dark. Right. It's, it's, it's the council of the wiki, man. That's right. And the whole time they tell you, no, we're white. We're we're pure. We're the light yeah. looking at. Man. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they say what civilization started with Rome or with the Greeks. or with the Greeks. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and really, that their quote unquote civil, civilization is, is really debauchery and lies and witchcraft. You know, all the things that, that were done, you know, previously in, in those reincarnated times, they just started to revamp it, you know? So, so yeah, they call themselves white when when really they're, they're the cavemen of the earth. But even going back to what the brother had, had made mention, Esau is Edom, you know? And, 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 and Mount Seir is, is not only a place, but for, for them, it's a people, yeah. you know? And, and, and that's the reason why it talks about here, back in Jeremiah 49, that terrible, uh, 49 and 16, that terribleness hath deceived thee, you know? So you're thinking that you got away with all of these lies, iconoclasm, you know, uh, uh, blasphemy, uh, you know, uh, putting up all these monuments, uh, uh, you know, putting all these ob obelisks, uh, obelisks, and uh, what is it called? Uh, Mount Rushmore and shit, you know? You got all these things out here uh, uh, to deceive the people, you know. But but uh, uh, real quick, Baba Kusha, if you can grab Second uh, uh, Thessalonians two real quick. See one one quick precept, and, and th this is another part of the reason why not only has the truth set us free, but the truth has been able to reveal who the wicked is. You can start at either two or three. Okay, come on, it's going to be Second Thessalonians. Chapter 2 and verse 2. I thought it was verse 1. God. Second Thessalonians 2 and 1. Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach, right. and by our gathering together unto him, mm -hmm. that ye be not soon shaken in mind, or be troubled, neither by spirit, nor by word, nor by letter, as from us, as that the day of Yahweh Shai is at hand. Right, and that's what we're telling uh, our people. We telling the whole family, like, hey man, don't worry about all this stuff that you're seeing out here and what's going on, and and, and you know all of these things, uh, you know, m making you uh, fearful and you know uh, distracting you. Hey, Yahweh Shah Mashiach ha is coming to return for us, man. You know, go ahead. Verse three, let no man deceive you. Verse two. Oh, that was that was that was verse two. That was okay, okay, it's a lot. Yeah, start at the top again, Baba Shah. Second Thessalonians chapter two and verse two. That ye be not soon shaken in mind, mm -hmm. or be troubled, neither by spirit, nor by word, nor by letter, as from us, as that the day of Yahweh Shai is at hand. Right, let's go. Let no man deceive you by any means. Right. For that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, mm -hmm. and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. And that's what's happening. The man of sin, the son of perdition, is being revealed. No one knew who Esau was. No one knew where Edom was. No one knew what Mount Seir was. I didn't hear that in my church before I came into the truth. Never. I didn't even hear Israelite before I came into the truth. Ever. You know, all I heard was that same because those harlot houses are set up as extensions. Uh, going back to what you had talked about earlier, how everything is set up uh, with the same kind of notion. Uh, uh, the police, uh, you know, the lawyers, the doctors, all of it, it's all a system, you know, that Esau has set up as, as a pit. As a, as a snare to have our people continue in, in, in that wayward philosophy of, of, of death. Con, hey, hey, yeah. That's why our forefathers called it the beast system. Right. All right? And all the different officers and mayors and right. the politicians, even even the fucking teachers in your everyday school. That's right. Everybody falls into the system of Edomite supremacy. It was basically is identified as, uh, East Side has a term for it called corporate nationalism. Mm -hmm. Because what corporate nationalism is, is basically the belief that the individual does not exist for himself. Right. Even if you think that you exist to praise God and to, and to be a spiritual person, which is what literally all mankind has done since forever, the uh, corporate nationalism is that, well, look, you actually exist to work for us. Right. You exist to work for the system that you were born into. Right. And your own beliefs don't matter. Right. 
Yeah, done. And that's the reason why he has the social security number and birth certificate, all that kind of stuff, because he's he's basically put a. Uh, uh, I mean, and, and, and really, that's what he's trying to do with the, the, the uh, uh, mark of the beast. He's trying to put a tracking system on you because he believes that you are his property. When when we are the property of Yahweh Shah Mashiach, you know. That blood that the brother was going into the Passover, that blood was for the, the elect's sake. But then ultimately in the kingdom, you know, all of Israel will return through the loins. Okay? So we've all went, already been bought. bought. Esau is trying to claim us as his woman. Yeah. And then, hey, according to the law, as a woman, if someone's trying to put something That's inside right. of you that you don't want, you're right. supposed to cry out. That's right. I don't want that. You're supposed right. to cry out, man. That's right. You know? Gun. A lot of you people, get, a lot of you Israelites, get, you're actually lining up for this thing, man. And, and also, right here in verse 3 in 2 Thessalonians 2 and 3, he's called the son of perdition. And that word perdition, uh, it, it means destruction. Right. And look at Esau, even Esau's name, like Shashua, wasted away is he. And everything he touches, he what? It distorts it. Everything he touches, he, he destroys it, man. Think about everything you love. Food. They never gave you GMO foods. A woman, he made her a whore. Freedom. Mm -hmm. He's taking that from you more and more every day. Right. Everything you care about, this nigga is destroying it, man. Life. Yeah, the, the fucking air. That nigga has paid people to get enough plane and press a button over the whole city over and over again every day, man. The son of perdition. Now even the animals are groaning. Now this, it, it, now it's not even about just saving Israel. It's about saving the world, man. Right. And it goes into that in Romans the eighth chapter. That the whole creation groaned and waited upon the manifestation of the sons of God. That's right, brother. That's why I tell you in Revelation 22, whenever Yahweh shall come back and New Jerusalem come down from new bodies, uh, uh, and that tree come back, that tree of knowledge, it's, it's going to be it's like the tree of life mm -hmm. of, of uh, Kawah. That tree is going to be for the healing of the nations and for the restoration of the whole world. That's right. You know, every, right. everything's off, off chart right now because the son of destruction, this nigga's in Australia. Getting koalas committee. What the fuck this do here, man? Right, like. right, yeah, exactly. And and, and the, the reason why I wanted to go into that real quick is because this truth, this word, the elect coming back, uh repenting, uh, uh coming back to the ways of our true identity, uh be, being that, that that holy nation, uh that that's separate, you know, from all the rest of these other heathen nations. Uh, uh, as the brother was going into uh, touching on Deuteronomy the fourth chapter, how this is a great and holy people, you know, all of that and, and revealing the, the son of perdition, the man of sin, that is what Esau is most fearful of. Okay? Because through that repentance and us telling the people who he really is, even though uh, this word is only for the elect, even those people that are a part of uh, possibly the one third, they're hearing it. You know, and and they're starting to catch wind of okay, hold on, hold on. They saying we we Israelites, and so now that 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 darkness, you know, has has a a, a glimmer of light, and and and, and that day star, if they are part of the hopefully light, is starting to arise in their hearts and in their minds, and and and, and, and Lord will, if they are part of the light, they're gonna come back to the remembrance, and they're gonna shut off all these philosophies, you know. They're going to they start, uh, 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 e even as uh, it, it's happened over the course of years, you see droves of people leave Christianity and churches and, and religion and all of that kind of stuff. Now, some of them are going into other philosophies, but the point is, all of that spell is being wearing off because the son of perdition, the man of sin, is being revealed. He's no longer uh, 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 just able to mask himself behind white. He's no longer able to mask himself behind being European or, or, or we're Russian or, or we're American or any of these other uh, uh, by words and proper uh, that, that he's even uh, tried to place on himself. We're, we're calling him out directly through the spirit of power, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh saying, no, you are Esau. Okay? Yeah. And, yeah. yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, ugly yeah. ass people. Is that what you said? Yeah, the ugly ass devils, man. Ugly ass. And then ugly. that's and, uh, and, and then also going going back into that point. Uh, that's why. What, what's, like, what's the last thing you said, bro? Uh, 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 that that uh, that he's the devil. That he's Esau. 
He's being revealed for being Esau. Come because now, because now that's what that's why you're seeing them come with all this uh, freedom of speech regulation now. Mm -hmm. come, because bro. he can't control the narrative no right, more. Right, 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 right. He can't control the narrative. You got all these different true speakers on YouTube right, now. Right, right, so right. much coming out. Right. She's like, oh, I lost track of the narrative. Damn. Exactly. And, and that's why that one was Rashad Rockefeller said we should have never made the internet. Right. Because now you're able to go on YouTube. You can make a platform. And oh. actually going, Elder Malcolm was a beautiful channel, man. You go into, actually, look, I have actual pictures right, right here. It's a medieval picture of so-called black people fighting off the white people who came out the fucking forest. Right. And then the white man's like, oh, shit, no, we can't have that coming out. Right. Uh, 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 strike it. It was, it was rude. Strike it for being rude. Yeah, right. This nigga done bought every right. fucking body. Right. This nigga kidnaps kids. <laughs> he don't talk about we fucking rude, man. Right. It's a whole ass nigga. This dude is literally... Uh, give a nation billions of dollars in gender studies why they don't have no fucking water. Right. He going to take off our video. These guys are hateful. Right. These guys are mean. Hey, right. look. The Edomites and the Lord give us that power. We going to go on a fucking journey, man. We going to go on a fucking trip with you Edomites, man. Get hey. You. Oh, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. Go ahead. I, 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 was, I was just going to say, our forefather king, I think it was King Amaziah, he was kicking the Edomites off a mountain, man. Hey, the kingdom of heaven is going to go back to them days. That's right. Hey, you know, I'm going to kick this nigga off a fucking mountain, man. Right. Fine. Come, brother. Uh, did you want that Isaiah 65? Uh, Still? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come, come. We, we can wrap up on that a little bit. Uh, where do you want to start at, brother? Start at verse 1. Okay, come. This is Isaiah chapter 65, verse 1. It says, I am sought of them that ask not for me. Yeah, because that's how the spirit works, man. Because, and, and, and really, that goes back, starting back in Rome. You know, with the Israelite foreigners and the Hellenistas going back then. You know, because of, because the message was given unto the scribes and Pharisees and unto those who knew they were Israel, but they didn't receive it. It was just, they were they, they they were too wrapped up in the stumbling blocks. So instead, they went to and afflicted and poor people. The Israelite foreigners, the Gentiles, who were calling themselves Greek. Some of them might have known might have known that that, that, that their forefathers was Israel, or somebody forgot about it all together. And how shall have went with them? All right, and then how shall was even known for sin, public and sinners. 